Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple gauge chart. Now basically what this gauge chart does is maybe similarly you would see something in a dashboard where you would just have a half of a circle, semicircle here, and this part of the chart would indicate which percentage you completed. So let's say for example I turned this into 50% uh, or maybe 55%, make it a little bit more of a difference. You can see now the slice that's a little bit more prominent or more orange increases a bit more and it shows you that down here the percentage complete is 55%. So this is a very simple gauge chart. It may be something where you can create in Excel and then you can copy and paste it and put it into a dashboard or put it into a newsletter or a PowerPoint slide. And it's actually fairly simple to create. Now this particular chart is essentially a pie chart. So if I click into the, the chart itself, you can see the outline of the pie. And there's really just three slices. And they're taken off this one column table here. So half of the chart, this 50% part, is actually hidden. So there's no fill color, there's no borderline color. And the other two parts here, uh, this part is actually the part that is the percentage that is not complete, maybe the delta between 100% uh, and 55. And this part is our 28%. And I'll show you how to create the formulas to kind of fill out this chart. So just keep in mind that it actually is a pie chart and we're just hiding half of the chart. So let me go ahead and go into a new sheet. I kind of just copied over the framework of the table. Uh, I added, I kept that 33%. So what we want to do here is we want to fill out the values that are comprised of those three slices. So let me go and start with the bottom first. And that's this is basically going to be our 50% of the pie, or half of the pie that doesn't show up. So I'm going to go ahead and type 50%, or just type 50 in the percentage, and that will indicate it there. And here, what I'm going to do is this part is going to be the 50% uh, minus uh, that. So, so in, a, in essence, this is just going to be half. Um, the half that is, we're, we're going to assume that half is shown, half is not shown. I'm just going to use this as the placeholder to minus this part. So this is going to equal this minus uh, what's in A5. And I'll show you what's going to be in A5 later. And so right now it's nothing. Uh, basically, there's nothing here, so it's 50% minus nothing, it was 50%. This is probably the important part, where we're going to take uh, the value here that's entered and uh, divide it by 2. Because when you think about it, uh, we're only showing, we only want to show that percentage which is half of that whole pie. So that's why we have to divide it by 2. So I'm going to show you the formula. It's going to be equal the minimum, oops, let me go ahead and type minimum, and that's going to be the minimum of this value or 100%, all right? Uh, and then I'm going to divide that by 2 because we only want to show half of that pie, right? And so why do I have to have 100% here? Why, why, why am I using, uh, let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and get into the formula uh, evaluator here. In this minimum, why is my second uh, number 100%? Why do I want to have that there? So basically what we want to do is, if, if it goes over 100%, let's say for example, we say, oh, we're 110% completed. Well, basically what it's going to do is it's going to take the minimum of that number. So if B1 was 125%, it's going to take the minimum of these two values, either 125% or 100%. The minimum of those two numbers is 100%, divided by 2, right? And so it's basically going to be, it's going to fill out the whole 50% there. And that's why we do that. It's kind of just a, when you think about it, just a feature that shows that, you know, we're not going to go, in, for this particular chart, we're not going to go over 100%. So all I need to do now is kind of select anywhere in this table here, go and insert, and go under pie chart, the chart here, the chart group, and go under 2D pie. And first you go, oh, okay, well, now my 50% is kind of vertical here. What, what I want to do is we want to rotate that. So this part of the pie, this big slice, this half goes to the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Press Control 1. That's going to bring my uh, format series. And what I want to do, the angle of the first, first slice, I want to make that 270. So basically what that does is it's going to make this particular vertical bar, or when you think about this, vertical piece of that uh, slice horizontal. So once I press tab, you'll notice now it's kind of horizontal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some formatting for this particular slice. I'm going to make sure that I'm clicking in this slice, and you can see that it's, it's selected. I'll make sure that I have selected this bottom slice. I'm going to go under the paint bucket here, and under fill, I'm going to have no fill, 
and under the border, just make sure that there's no line there. All right. So once that's done, I can do some additional formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the legend, select that, press delete. That is gone. Now to see if uh, this slice is actually working, let me go ahead and put 50% here. So this should actually be half of it now. So if I put 50%, press enter, now you can see that it's half. So pretty much it's basically done. And what we want to do is we just want to format uh, some of the color and maybe add a little uh, descriptive text down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, make sure that I've uh, selected just that slice. You can see if I clicked it once, the whole thing, the whole pie gets selected. If I click it again, just that part of the pie gets selected. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and maybe make uh, the fill color. Maybe I'll make that green or actually uh, orange. Let's make that one orange. And then this one, I'll go ahead and make that one yellow. Incidentally, you can also just go, go and click the bucket here. There's a lot of options in Excel to, to do changes. So you can just click it there. And maybe I just kind of want a lightish gray because that's the part remaining. Now to get that descriptive uh, box with the text here, there's not really a way into the chart elements or the chart attributes here. You can do it, but you can do another fix. Uh, there's another workaround for that. And what you want to do is enter in a text box. So I go under insert. And then I'm going to enter a text box, right? I'm going to go and just uh, select something big here, uh, draw out something big, and I'm going to go equal sign, and then I'm going to put a placeholder. I'm going to go a place, put a placeholder. Oops. So I'm going to insert here, and then insert a text box. Then go ahead and just draw a text box out, and then I'm going to go up to, to the formula bar and type equal. I'm just going to point it to this cell here, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in that cell that will give text there. I'm gonna put it there, so it's it's gonna select cell A9. So I can I do I can do I can just draw you know I can just put 50% here, and then it's gonna write 50% here. But really uh, that's not really too descriptive. What I want to do is probably I want to join this uh, this part that says percent complete with this part, and then have that whole text written out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a formula. So I'm gonna type equal uh, so that cell and put the ampersand. What the ampersand does is it's going to join uh, values from one cell to with another cell. So I'm going to say uh, ampersand. I'm going to have a little space. So in order to add text in there, and space is a text, I'm going to have to add double quotes, space, double quotes, and then another ampersand to join. And it'll be joining uh, this particular cell. So I need to add this a little bit more um, because if you see that I've put that, put that there, it's going to give me the decimal 0.05. Uh, 0 0.5. So to uh, change that, what I need to do is I want to put that, I want to wrap this into a formula or a function called the text function. So I'll go ahead and type text and go ahead and tab so it'll open up parentheses for me. And then the value is this value, cell B1. And the format that I want it to be is I'm going to go ahead and type uh, percent, uh, zero, and then percent. I right, excuse me. Uh, then I'm going to type uh, quote, double quotes. Uh, zero and then percent and then double quotes and then close the parentheses press enter and now you, you see that it says percentage complete let me go and double click here to auto fit that column here so what we see here now it says uh, percentage complete 50 percent and now it's also added in here because right now this is a reference to a9 so with this i can just kind of change and format this now i can make that a little bit more colorful i'll go under oops let me go and select this and then under the drawing tools go to format and maybe I'll just give it a, uh, a little orange color here, right? A little orange color there. Maybe move this up a little bit. And then to kind of center this over here. And I have created my little chart here, my little gauge chart. And now if I go ahead and change it here, you notice once I change the number here, it's going to change it here. It'll change the formulas here. And it'll change it here because it references, uh, everything gets referenced back to this cell. So let me change this to maybe 33%. And now you notice, whoops, not 33,000%. Let me go 33 and then percent. And now you notice that it's changed it to 33%. So what we can do here now is we can take, we can copy and paste this and put it into a newsletter or put it into a slide. It's a very simple gauge chart that you can use. You can have a series of these to, to show some value. So what you can do here is you can change the numbers here and then just copy and paste it and show a series uh, of values for whatever um, metric that you want to show. So this is your simple gauge chart. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.